بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. It was the second class of the Ha'iya of Ibn Abi Dawood. Rahimahu Allah Ta'ala. May Allah have mercy on him and his father. And um, we stopped. Uh, firstly, I want to, from last class, I might have had a slip of the tongue and said Al Atqiya'a. Uh, like with Nasib, with a Fatha, it should be with a Dhamma, a Qiyau. So change that, inshallah. Um, yeah. Continuing on, we have. We left off on the Mas'ala of the Quran. And Ibn Abi Dawood, rahimahullah ta'ala, he says. Um, and just to kind of review, we I think took the first line last time. <clears throat> um, so we are on. So let's review this bit uh, quickly. وَقُلْ غَيْرُ مَخْلُوقٍ كَلَامُ مَلِيكٍ مَلِيكِنَا بِذَلِكَ دَانَ الْأَطْقِيَ الْأَطْقِيَاءُ Right, that's the the word I was talking about. وَأَفْ uh, وَأَفْصَحُ <coughs> And uh, that translates to mean. And say, not a created thing is a speech of our great king. Such was the religious position of the pious ones who spoke well. That's what we took last time. So now we have the next line after that. وَلَا تَكُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ بِالْوَقْفِ قَائِلًا كَمَا قَالَ أَتْبَاعٌ لِجَهْمٍ وَأَسْجَحُ um, so this next line translates to say, <clears throat> and do not be a person who takes no position on the Quran as did the followers of Jahim and they had been too lax. So the author here in this short poem on uh, Aqid, on Creed, he uh, brings different positions on the Quran <clears throat> and note that uh, Imam Ibn Abi Dawood um, on the way of Ahl al-Hadith, um, he is inclined, of course, to the <coughs> in the uh, in the way of the true Hanabi, the Mufawwada, the ones that do Tafwil. And in this, they follow the way of Imam Ahmad, and they don't ask any questions about uh, things like this. <coughs> so they say the Quran is uncreated, and that's it. They don't get into it. They don't discuss it, right? So, and and uh, and that's the way of the Salaf uh, generally. They do tafwil. Uh, like Imam Ahmad said, "Amiruha kama jaat," like read over it the way it came. That's it, <clears throat> right? Bila kaf. Um, or kiraatuha uh, or tafsiruha kiraatuha, and the tafsir of it is just reading it. So, of course, people came uh, really at that time and uh, after saying that, no, you have to affirm things, it's that. And in this, you fall into tajseem, likening Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the creation, um, giving him parts and things like that. <clears throat> um, but the way of, uh, of uh, the Salaf and the way of Ahl Sunnah is uh, Tafwil, which is called Ta'wil Ijmali. So, we have in this line, so we've taken two lines on the Qur'an, let's take this third line, quickly. وَلَا تَقُلْ الْقُرْآنَ خَلْقٌ قَرَأْتُهُ فَإِنَّ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ بِاللَّفْضِ يُوضَحُ So this line here translates to say, and do not say, that the Quran is created, meaning its recitations is the speech of Allah, though its recitation is made clear. So another position on the Quran. So the first one is, is just saying, do not say that the speech of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is created. And that's the way that is sunnah. Um, the uh, sha'ira, they, um, of course, they divide the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into two. Um, and one of them is actually the slifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-kalam that is uh, abadi, <coughs> right, azali abadi, 
that you know has no beginning and no end. So the Ashair and the Maturidiyah uh, famously say that the you know that the Quran is uncreated with no harf uh, and salt. It would translate to mean letter and sound. I've said it was between uh, them and the Hanabila, not to get into that right now, <clears throat> but. Um, the Asha'ira, they divide the Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into two types, which is the Dal and the Madlul. The Dal is the actual Sif of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's uncreated. The Madlul is created, right? And this is like the pages of the Quran. Your speech or recites the Quran with your tongue and lips and everything. Um, you know, something, obviously, when you, when you say something and it, uh, it stops. This, uh, so this is um, created. And so unlike the, the Mu'taz, so what was the, what happened to, with the Mu'tazila and Imam Ahmad? The, the Mu'tazila said that the Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, or the, the Quran is, is created. And the Hanabila, um, they say that the Quran is uncreated. So the Asha'ira, they in in a way you know they 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 say for example like uh based on like how they they, they looked at it they they combine the two so both positions actually have some truth in it yes the sifa of kalam is uncreated uh, but um the quran that we have in our speech that is created because <clears throat> there's proofs for both uh so that's why the shahada for example say there's a dead or madlul but the Hanabila, they say it's uncreated and that's it, right? And uh, of course, they say with, with Harf and Sol, uh, which we won't really discuss now. But yeah, that's kind of the main thing between the Shia and the Maturidiya, um, their position uh, between them and the Hanabila. Uh, so those are some, so Ibn Abi Dawood, and again, Ibn Abi Dawood isn't saying this specifically, and note that when he says Jahim, he said the Jahmiyyah, the Jahmiyyah generally weren't Muslim, right? The Mu'tazila generally are from Ahl Qibla, um, the Jahmiyyah weren't, so when, uh, you know, some of the the people came later and they called Ahl Sunnah Jahmiyyah, because, why do they call them Jahmiyyah? Because According to them, they negate attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> well, that's, uh, okay, well, let's look at it. Why, how, how do they negate attributes? <clears throat> uh, well, they say that Allah doesn't have a hand. And they actually say hand, right? So, Ahlul Sunnah will keep it at yad, right? They don't even, they don't translate that. Um, they say, no, like we say, Yadullahi Foka Aidihim, and all these different uh, verses, Ar Rahman ala Arshi Stawa, they affirm the the uh, text as it comes. And if you don't, then you're a kafir. <clears throat> but, you know, when they say, okay, you're not affirming, um, uh, you know, uh, and again, I'll translate because that's what they do, and that's not what Sunnah does. Um, the hand, for example, Obviously, the shin and the the face, and uh, they you know they really made a a figure there, <clears throat> and this was really championed by Imam Ibn Taymiyyah. May Allah have mercy on him. Um, you know, where it's 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 a way of its bat. And again, the uh, the set of they did the foil, which is just reading over the text, affirming the text, and and not going into it. Imam Ibn Taymiyyah went into it, and this was this is against the way of the Salaf. And the Asha'ira, the Maturidi, and the Hanabi, the three schools of Aqidah, they all affirm Tafwil, which is called, um, it's called uh, Ta'wil Ijmali. And then of course the Sha'ir and the Maturidi, they have the uh, Ta'wil uh, Tafsili, which is the actual Ta'wil. Um, so Tafwil is just affirming the text and saying Allah knows best about it. I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, the Ta'wil Tafsili is actually saying, okay, the Yad is, is Qudra or it's Ni'mah, you know, and things that, you know, it is in the language 
and um, you know they, they don't say if this is the head it's not saying for certain what it is but you know generally it's done um, uh, out of necessity and the asl of it is tafwil and that's the way of the salaf but when needed tawil especially today you'll find tawil is, is really helpful against the you know when you're speaking with uh, the, the Muslims with doubts or the atheists or the agnostics even Christians and Jews and others um, <clears throat> so yeah, but that's the main difference between the Sha'ir and the Maturidiyya or the Sha'ir and Maturidiyya together which do Tafwid and Ta'weed and then the Hanabila who uh, reject Ta'weed and they do Tafwid which is fine and that's the way of the Salaf. So now, <clears throat> continuing on in this Qur'an, uh, these Qur'anic positions we are on the line <clears throat> Uh, what, uh, was that the last line? That was the last line that we took about the Quran. <clears throat> so, so, so the main positions. Okay, so say that it's uncreated, and don't be someone that takes no position on it. Is it created or uncreated? <clears throat> and um, do not say that the love of the Quran is created. <clears throat> And again, that's the way the Hanad, that's the way the Salaf. Um, and say, um, yeah. So again, we, we kind of explain that whole thing about, uh, you know, uh, saying it's uncreated. And the Hanabila don't go further than that. They actually, you know, the way of the, the true Hanabila and the way of the Salaf is not to discuss these types of things. And even if you went back to like the quote of Imam Malik, you know, about Istawa. Al Kayfu uh, uh, or uh, firstly Al uh, Istiwa Ma'loom in the language we know what it means in the language. Uh, well, Kayf this is the tricky part for some because they affirm the weak or and or fabricated narration. They say Al Kayf uh, uh, Majhul, but most of the narration in Mathematic and the more correct one if you study the change and everything is Al Kayf Ghairu Ma'kul. Right, there's a big difference there. The big difference. Well, well, anhu bid'a, and the asking about his innovation, <clears throat> and then kick him out of the masjid and so on. So the way of the salaf is just <clears throat> affirming the text and not going further than that, and and having these uh, discussions. Obviously, you know, in the uh, shayda, you know, they they came and. Um, they saw a need for uh, other, you know, actually going into these types of things. That's where Kalam came about, you know, against the philosophers and, you know, the the atheists and, and different types of people. Um, but that's the uh, the message of the Quran, uh, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in.